Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm back with another General Collective Energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth, so if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop in and get this message. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel but have not yet subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So with that being said, y'all, let's hop in. So whoever's going to resonate with this message, you could be seeing the angel number 333. You could be seeing uh, 1010 on the clock or just a lot of 10s. Um, you could also be seeing the number 88. Uh, somebody could be born, you know, in 1988. 80s baby. Um, somebody's name could be Rose or somebody could be receiving some type of some, some roses, you know, like a bouquet of roses. Somebody could own a bar or there's a bar called Roses Bar. That could be significant. Or somebody could be getting their bar exam. Or something about a lawyer, an attorney, could be significant. Um, something that's getting ready to take place happens by coincidence. So whatever's getting ready to take place, it, it, it happens by chance. Um, somebody's, yeah, they're not expecting this because it's just going to come out of the blue, whatever this is here. Um... And it definitely could have something to do with a big reward. I feel like, yeah, somebody's being rewarded for something here. Uh, this could be, you know, somebody getting uh, being rewarded uh, from their ancestors. Or this could be, you know, like a physical reward. Somebody could get a, be getting a reward, you know what I'm saying, for, uh, you know, helping uh, to find somebody. You know, how like... Uh, if you see a, a alert and it says if you find this, if you see this person call this number and you'll uh, you know get a reward, uh, somebody could get a big reward for that. Somebody could get a big reward, yeah, you know, if somebody is getting their bar exam, you know, that could be a big reward for somebody. It definitely could have something to do, yeah, with upholding the law. You know what I'm saying, or doing what's right. Somebody could just be getting some type of big reward, you know, uh, for doing what's right. So I don't know, y'all. Um, but before we hop in, let's look at what this uh, angel number 88 means um, in our angel numbers book. So we have the number angel number 88 right there. So it says, welcome riches. Uh-oh. It says, state your intention. And it's something about the state that somebody lives in. But state your intention means like when you speak whatever it is that you are intending to have or to receive, yeah, you need to state it and make it plain. So something is definitely getting ready to be made plain and clear uh, for somebody here. It says infinite abundance is available to you and your angels are signaling for you to remember this. So whoever's resonating with this message, yeah, there is a big reward that is available to you and your angels are definitely, you know what I'm saying, alerting you Um that yeah you need to remember this so it's something about the past and it's definitely got something to do with uh with your state or a state that you lived in is also what i'm picking up but I'm, I'm picking up the past because it says uh your angels are signaling you for you for you to remember this so yeah remembering something is something that happened yesterday or last month or last week or last year or two weeks ago or five years ago or you know what i'm saying whatever the situation is they want you to elevate your vibration as well as your expectations for what you can receive. Write down an intention you have for the future. State it out loud under the stars during the next new moon. So we've already had a new moon. It was uh, earlier this month, but we do have a full moon that's coming up in the next couple of days. I think I'm going to do um, a full moon uh, message maybe tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, state it out loud under the stars during the next new moon 
Maybe somebody could have already done that. You know what I mean? Somebody could have already, you know, uh, stated their intuition and, and made it loud and clear. I said intuition. So something about somebody's intuition. But state your into state their into intention. You know what I'm saying? And made it loud and clear. Something definitely could be made loud and clear for somebody as well. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, y'all, let's hop in and, and, and see what's going on. <laughs> I'm also picking up a rose bush as well. Somebody could have a rose bush, you know, planted somewhere. Yeah, this is my uh, manifestation card here. So, yeah, whoever, you know, this message is for, whoever is going to resonate with this message, yeah, you need to state your intention and you, you need to make it plain and clear. Spirit. Yeah, something about the grass is greener. Where are we going with this message? What do we need to know? It's way too many. Yeah, somebody's about to be given some type of directions or some type of instructions here. I'm going to put all these back. Somebody definitely could be trying to locate somebody as well. Somebody definitely could be traveling. Somebody definitely does need to use GPS when traveling so they won't get lost. Somebody definitely could be lost in the sauce and they can't catch up. Catch up you know? Somebody definitely could be trying to get whoever you know is going to resonate with this message lost in the sauce or trying to get whoever's resonating with this message confused I just heard I was lost but now I'm found so I was picking up on uh, in, a, in the message the other day about a missing person so maybe yeah somebody there's a missing person that's that has been found but it's something about yeah lost soul or just, you know what I'm saying, lost in life in general. And maybe somebody, yeah, has found themselves. That could be whoever's resonating with this message, you know, or whoever this message is for. Yeah, this is my being made whole card. Y'all see how it's just one more little block in order for uh, the whole square to be made whole? So, yeah, this is my being made whole card. So, whoever's resonating with this message, yeah, I feel like that uh, you're being made whole or whoever, yeah, somebody is. Uh, they have their finger on a yellow block. So something about a friend as well. Mm -hmm. But it's something about, yeah, somebody's anxiety and somebody's depression. Because this is, this is my mental health card. So somebody definitely could be dealing with uh, some mental health stuff here. And maybe, yeah, while somebody else is made whole, somebody's going through something here. And it definitely could be a friend. Maybe somebody's going to have to, um, you know what I'm saying? Help to pick their friend up out of this um, mental health slump that they're in. But I'm also picking up too that, yeah, somebody definitely could be getting, receiving some type of big reward. You know what I'm saying? I um, mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, finances, but we did see welcome riches. But riches, you know what I'm saying, could be a lot of different things. You know what I'm saying? Riches could include being made whole mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally. You know what I'm saying? All those things and some, you know what I'm saying? And finances. Um, and, it, and it could be. You know, for helping somebody to figure out how to, you know what I'm saying, uh, become whole. Uh, because, yeah, somebody was lost and now they're found. Somebody was broken and now they're, you know, you know what I'm saying, put together. You know what I'm saying? About to be made whole here. Wow. And something about a lot of uh, cultures or multicultural or, you know what I'm saying, somebody just sees the world, you know what I'm saying, from many views now. Not just one view, not, you know what I'm saying, tunnel vision, you know what I'm saying, not one way, two way, but, you know, many ways. 
somebody could be indigenous because all those colors is giving me like you know what i'm saying indigenous like somebody could have uh ancestors from many different cultures from many different parts of the world you know what i mean but it's something about coming together it's giving me soul tribe as well so yeah there there definitely could be a lot of people you know what i'm saying a lot of spiritual people who could be coming in contact you know what i'm saying with their soul families or people you know what i'm saying like-minded people mm -hmm. yeah somebody doesn't let something handicap them this is the handicap card but it came out in the reverse somebody definitely could be in a wheelchair if that's the case somebody definitely could be overcoming somebody definitely could be learning how to walk you know what i'm saying or somebody that's in a wheelchair you know what i'm saying just isn't letting you know that handicap them you know what i'm saying they're still yeah progressing towards you know what i'm saying making themselves whole mentally physically spiritually emotionally you know what i'm saying whatever have you so yeah but it's something about, yeah, somebody getting uh, rewarded, you know what I'm saying, some type of big reward. And it could be, you know what I'm saying, for assisting somebody, you know what I'm saying. This could be somebody that, you know, is in a wheelchair. Maybe they weren't in a wheelchair before. And maybe somebody, you know what I'm saying, uh, could have helped to pull this person out of a, a car crash, you know what I'm saying. And somebody saved somebody's life. You know what I'm saying. And it could be this person, you know. And maybe that's the person that's trying to locate somebody because I did see the location card. You know what I'm saying? Somebody definitely could be trying to locate somebody, uh, trying to travel towards somebody. So somebody could be at a distance from somebody uh, trying to find somebody because maybe somebody has, you know what I'm saying, made somebody see, you know what I'm saying, uh, life for what it is. You know what I'm saying? Maybe whoever this was, whoever this is, they weren't, um, they didn't give a damn about life. You know what I mean? That's why they possibly were drinking and driving. Or that's why they put themselves in a position, you know what I'm saying, for something to happen. You know what I mean? For this person to be in a wheelchair. Because I am picking up that whoever this is, if they are in a wheelchair, they weren't born that way. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I feel like that... Um. <clears throat> You know, somebody could have helped save somebody's life in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And so, with that being said, yeah, maybe somebody wants to, you know what I'm saying, thank somebody, you know what I'm saying, for, for helping, you know what I'm saying, to save their life. And basically, you know what I'm saying, uh, to open their eyes, you know what I'm saying, to life. Period. Mm hmm But I'm also picking up too that, yeah, somebody is not letting, you know what I'm saying, uh, things that took place in their life handicapped them, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be a mental illness, whether it be a physical illness, you know what I'm saying? Uh, or whatever the situation is. I feel like, the, yeah, somebody's strong. Really strong. And yeah, there are a lot of people that are seeing somebody's strength. Whoever's resonating with this message, you could literally be in a wheelchair. But I am picking up that, yeah, somebody definitely could have helped to save somebody's life. And maybe somebody doesn't even know it, you know what I mean? Maybe when somebody pulled that person out of the car crash or, you know what I'm saying, pushed that person, you know what I'm saying, uh, whatever somebody did to help save somebody's life. Maybe somebody, you know what I'm saying, helped save their life and then walked away, you know what I'm saying, like a, a stranger, you know what I mean, and didn't look back, you know. I feel like whoever, you know, is resonating with this message, somebody's looking at you like a guardian angel, but on earth. So, yeah, whoever's resonating with this message, you definitely could be an earth angel. Um, and so, yeah. There is somebody that definitely could be trying to find an earth angel. You know what I'm saying? The one that they deem as their guardian angel or their lifesaver. Wow. Look. Look. Superhero. Come on. Come through, Holy Spirit. Stop playing with them. Yeah, so whoever's resonating with this message, it says, what gives you strength on the back of the card? So, yeah. But yeah, I feel like that whoever's resonating with this message, you definitely could be, yeah, being looked at, you know what I'm saying, as a lifesaver. And it, and it and maybe it's not just, you know what I'm saying, one person. Maybe it's many people, you know what I mean? Uh, this could be, you know, a kid, you know what I'm saying? You could have helped to save an adult and helped to save a kid or whatever the situation is, you know? Uh, you definitely could be, yeah, helping, um, you know what I'm saying, many people to become whole, you know what I mean? And maybe you don't know it. Maybe you do. Uh I feel like if you have a kid or, or, you know what I'm saying, a child or a children, they definitely do look at you like a superhero, you know? I feel like, the, yeah, you, you've you been being looked at as a superhero from when you were uh, young, you know what I'm saying? You were strong when you were young, you know what I mean? 
but the color yellow and green is very significant so yeah um, there's something about a friend we do have a lot of yellow out here so yeah you've been a good friend to many people you know what I'm saying you've helped many people out of the slums you've helped many people out of the dark abyss you've helped many people you know what I'm saying to overcome things but you also yeah could have physically saved some people's lives you know we got the star right here so yeah you 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 definitely have came a long way when it comes to healing you definitely could still be healing you know what I mean especially childhood wounds you know what I mean and maybe that's the last thing that needs you know what I'm saying uh, to take place to be made whole is childhood wounds because if you see again that block is yellow and then all of this is yellow but yeah a star something about a child star as well so you know uh, switch it over to that side uh, there could be a child star that's yeah being made whole you know what I mean uh, not let allowing you know what I'm saying whatever took place when they were a child you know what I'm saying to handicap them you know um, they're getting stronger by by the moment you know what I'm saying stronger by the day whoever's resonating with this message you could be getting stronger by the day whoever this is that's in this wheelchair could be strong getting stronger by the day Aquarius energy so whoever's resonating with this message you could be an Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart uh, there's Aquarius involved Mm -hmm. Wow. Somebody possibly just wants a friend or need a friend or, you know what I'm saying, somebody's not expecting to come together with somebody. This is my come together card. Uh, this is my moving in together. You know what I'm saying? But it's also, yeah, like, uh, what, what, because on the back of the card it says, what are your expectations from life? So with that being said, um, yeah, somebody's not expecting whatever this is. This something is getting ready to happen by coincidence, um, and so yeah, so somebody wasn't expecting to come together. You know what I'm saying with somebody. There's a masculine, feminine energy on this card. Somebody, you know what I'm saying, is not expecting to uh, move in together. Somebody is not expecting. You know what I'm saying to create. You know what I'm saying a foundation together uh, with with somebody here. But I'm picking up that, yeah, and it's just because that's not somebody's focus, you know what I mean? So somebody's focus is, yeah, uh, to just continue to heal, you know what I'm saying? Just continue to overcome, you know, the obstacles and challenges that they face every day, you know, for those, for, yeah, take care of their child or children for, you know, if they have them, uh, you know what I'm saying? Continue to go to work every day, you know, continue, you know. Uh, to, to be thankful and, and grateful for, you know what I'm saying, everything that, that somebody has, everything that, you know what I'm saying, somebody's going to receive. And so for that reason, I feel like, yeah, amongst others, you know what I mean, I feel like that that's why somebody's getting ready to receive this big reward. But it's something, it's a coincidence. It's it's something that's happening by chance. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, if somebody is coming together with somebody, yeah, I feel like this, but that this, somebody is a superhero, you know what I'm saying, just like whoever's resonating with this message, I feel like that this person has overcome a lot of things as well, they haven't, you know what I'm saying, allowed, you know what I'm saying, anything in their life to handicap them or to, you know what I'm saying, hold them back from, you know what I'm saying, doing great things, I feel like that, yeah, there's two people coming together that, yeah, it's gonna take over the world, like Pinky in the brain, you know what I'm saying, but in a good way, yeah, like Superman and Superwoman type of deal. But this could be a friend, you know what I'm saying? Or this could be somebody that has deemed somebody as a friend, you know what I mean? This could be somebody that somebody knows, it, it or it's not, you know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, I feel like that somebody, yeah, they don't, they, they don't see this coming, you know what I'm saying? Because they're not expecting it. So it's kind of like, uh... Yeah, self-expression. This is my self-expression card. Wow. Somebody has a lot within them. Mm-hmm. But yeah, something about look at all the colors on this card and then all the colors on that card. So it's something about, yeah. But it's just giving me like somebody knows a lot, seen a lot, done a lot, dealt with a lot. You know what I'm saying? Possibly traveled the world a lot. You know what I'm saying? Uh have done, you know, a lot of things in their life. Uh, I feel like that whoever this other person is, they have as well. But it's something about self-expression. I feel like that whoever's resonating with this message, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that it's going to, whatever's getting ready to take place. I feel like that uh, it's kind of like 
not really being quiet type of deal, but somebody's going to have to refrain, you know what I'm saying, or hold back a little bit. Because I feel like that um, whatever's getting ready to take place, it's going to feel like it already has happened, you know what I'm saying? Like deja vu, or like I've met this person before, or whatever the situation is. It could be a past life situation, you know what I mean? Or it could be the fact that this person reminds whoever is going to resonate with this message of somebody from their past, you know what I mean? They could look like somebody from their past or, you know what I'm saying, have, you know what I'm saying, like a past person's tendencies. But this person is not that person. You know what I'm saying? It's a different person. Mm-hmm. We got a Pisces. So who? So whoever's resonating with this message, you could be a Pisces or have Pisces in your chart because that definitely is Pisces fish in that uh, bowl, if y'all can see that. Aquarius Pisces Cusper out here. Mm-hmm. But it's something about, yeah, self-expression being uh, one of somebody's, a trait of somebody's. Mm -hmm. But it's something about, yeah, the way that uh, somebody expresses their self. So love language. So whoever's resonating with this message, your love language could definitely be to help people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to get people, you know what I'm saying? To, to love people through pain and hurt. You know what I'm saying? To, yeah, to get people through you know struggles and you know what i'm saying challenges uh you know what i mean that could be your love language that could how, how that could be one of the ways that you show people that you love and care about them you know what i mean mm -hmm. something is almost done this is my own edge card but this is also my, yeah, severing ties card. So something about severing ties. Something is almost done. So I feel like that uh, somebody could, yeah, be severing some type of tie. You know what I mean? Or ties. So this could be like with karma, karmic people, places, and things that don't serve their highest good. Mm hmm Because this could be like a breakup card. Because coming together in the reverse would be, yeah, coming apart. Somebody's coming apart. Or, yeah, there is a breakup going on. Or, again, somebody's just separate ties. But somebody, yeah, definitely could be coming apart. So it's like while something else is getting ready to take place for somebody, something else is, yeah, coming apart or shattering or, you know what I'm saying? Uh... Ending. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, so we got 1010 out here, so that's a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Somebody's not proud of something. This is my, uh, yeah, proud to be tall. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? Reaching new heights is also what I'm picking up. So somebody's not reaching new heights. Somebody is stuck. And somebody's not proud of being stuck. Mm-hmm. But it's something about a kid. Because this is a kid. So it's like growing up. So somebody's not proud of the way that they grew up. Maybe somebody wants to express that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it's in the reverse. So whoever, you know what I'm saying, is resonating with this message again. Uh, regardless, I feel like that you're proud. You know what I'm saying? Or you should be. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your past, it, the past definitely, you know what I'm saying, uh, defines our present and our future. But at the same time, it doesn't make our present and our future. It only helps us to build a, 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 a better and brighter present and future. And so, yeah, I feel like that whoever's resonating with this message, what are you proud of and why? Yeah, you, that you've overcame, you know what I'm saying, a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? If you have a child or children, yeah, you, you're proud of your child or children, you know what I'm saying, for overcoming, you know what I'm saying, for being the strong, you know what I'm saying, little superheroes that they are. You know what I mean? But I feel like that, yeah, somebody is not proud, you know what I'm saying, of their life or, you know what I'm saying, how they grew up or the things that they went, you know what I'm saying, the things that they went through or the things that they've, you know, um, yeah, took themselves through. It could be whoever this person is. Mm hmm Well, and we did see the self-expression card. So somebody definitely wants to express themselves and it definitely could be a Pisces. Or somebody that has Pisces in their chart. 
Somebody, yeah, they're 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 not proud because yeah, they didn't reach new heights. You know what I'm saying? But they're also not proud because yeah, somebody didn't treat somebody like royalty. Because if y'all see, that's the color purple. Purple and gold could be significant. Mm-hmm. Somebody's being cracked open. Turn it around. Yeah, something about yeah, handle you. Ha how do you handle pressure here? So somebody yeah is cracking under pressure. So yeah, somebody is yeah on edge. Wow. I don't feel like it's whoever's resonating with this message. You know what I'm saying? But 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 I was picking up on that energy, like yeah, while somebody is getting themselves, you know what I'm saying, being made whole, there's somebody else that yeah is falling apart. Or you know what I'm saying, yeah. So and it definitely could be somebody, you know what I'm saying, that's attached to this other person. You know what I'm saying? That's falling apart because yeah, somebody's uh somebody has gone within. So whoever this other person is, you know what I'm saying? Uh they they are they have gone within and they possibly, yeah, are realizing, you know what I'm saying, that yeah, uh Uh, that the person that they chose to come together with, they don't need to be, you know what I'm saying, with them, you know. It definitely could be unhealthy. It could be toxic, you know. And maybe this person, yeah, they're ready to heal, you know what I'm saying. And they're ready to be strong, you know what I'm saying, and uh, 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 do what's right for them, you know what I'm saying. They Maybe they realize that, yeah, in order for them to be whole, they need to stop allowing this person to handicap them. Or they need to stop, you know what I'm saying, basically handicapping themselves or holding themselves back, you know what I'm saying. Uh, they need to, yeah step into, you know what I'm saying, their strength, you know what I mean, yeah, their inner strength, so whoever this is, they could be releasing fear, you know what I'm saying, they could be trying to be strong at heart, you know what I'm saying, try to look forward uh, to the future, you know what I mean, um, and so with that being said, yeah, I feel like that there definitely could be somebody that could be falling apart because they realize that, yeah, uh, they're not in somebody's future, mm-hmm, Or this could be a past person, you know what I'm saying? Um, and maybe, yeah, whoever this, uh, who, whatever's getting ready to take place as far as something happening by coincidence, you know, by chance, it, it could be a new person. Or again, it could be somebody that somebody, you know what I'm saying, hasn't, you know, seen in a long time. Um, and it could be a friend, you know? It definitely could have something to do with high school or school in general. That, yeah, because we have a kid right here. So something about, yeah, when, when, when people were kids... So somebody could have grew up with somebody and they haven't seen them in a long time. Mm -hmm. And maybe, you know what I'm saying, it was something like, yeah, two people got together, you know, in high school. And, you know, they were just too young, you know, and, and they made, you know, childish and mature mistakes. And, you know what I mean? And so maybe, yeah, there's, uh, by coincidence, two people are getting ready to come back together that thought that they weren't, you know what I'm saying, ever going to see each other again. Or, you know what I'm saying, weren't going to, you know what I'm saying, uh, be together or something like that. But there's also other people, you know what I'm saying, uh, behind the scenes that are, yeah, uh, about to snap, you know what I'm saying, that, yeah, cracking under pressure, but it's also something about, yeah, somebody wanting to express how they feel. Yeah, somebody mad, this is my piping hot. It's also, yeah, letting off steam. Mmm, steam. So something about SEX as well. So I don't know if this is somebody that somebody has SEX with or, you know what I'm saying, if, yeah, somebody is just mad as hell. Mm-hmm. Wow. Be aware, you know, of uh, somebody um, trying to get somebody, yeah, in their angry bag. Mm -hmm. Wow. I 
for like yeah somebody wants to get somebody in their angry bag or maybe that's already what took place and you know what i'm saying somebody yeah stood tall and didn't let that uh you know what i'm saying distract distract them or you know what i'm saying and stop them from yeah moving forward they didn't let yeah their anger or their yeah because something about self-expression uh being on edge or something like that so yeah somebody definitely could be getting you know what i'm saying their anger together their mental health together yeah that definitely could be one thing left you know what i'm saying for somebody to yeah be made completely whole or feel completely whole here and so yeah it could be who was resonating with this message or it could be somebody else um, and maybe, yeah, somebody's getting themselves together behind the scenes and, and whoever's resonating with this message don't know it. And so whenever that time comes, yeah, something is going to happen and it's going to be by coincidence that, yeah, two people come back together or two people meet or, you know what I'm saying, whatever the situation is. It definitely could have something to do with a bar, you know what I mean? So somebody could be at the bar having a drink and come in contact with somebody or somebody met somebody in a bar a long, long time ago. And yeah, they thought that they would never see that person any, you know what I'm saying, ever again. And by coincidence, yeah. And and maybe this person is meant, you know what I'm saying, uh, meant to be for somebody, you know what I'm saying, like uh, part of their destiny and fate. And somebody didn't even know it. Mm-hmm. Yep, I feel like that somebody's gonna be um something about uh somebody's gonna be in the right mindset, in the right mood, in the right, you know what I'm saying, energy or whatever when, when this happens because we have this cheerful card here. Mm-hmm. And so, with that being said, yeah, I feel like the, yeah. But it's also, yeah, I feel like that when somebody or two people come together, lock eyes or something like that, it's going to be like somebody's going to blush or it's somebody's just going to know, you know what I'm saying, that it's real. Or, you know what I'm saying, somebody's going to know that, like, yeah, I think that they're the one, you know what I'm saying. Or it's like, why did not, you know, know this a long time ago? If this is somebody that somebody, you know what I'm saying, has uh, already met. But I feel like it's it's kind of somebody new, or it's, or it could be somebody that somebody met, you know what I'm saying, a long, long time ago. And so it's like, yeah, um, the old is becoming new, if that makes any sense. Mm-hmm. Wow. Why is the maid hole here? <laughs> Scared card. <laughs> I don't like this scared card though. But I'm also picking up too that yeah, if there is other entities, you know what I'm saying, uh, behind the scenes, you know what I mean? Because we, I was picking up on severing ties, or you know what I'm saying, somebody definitely could be going through a breakup or something like that as well. Um, yeah, there could be somebody that yeah, they mad. But something about, yeah, whoever's resonating with this message, I feel like uh, you're scaring people. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to being made whole or, you know what I'm saying, it's scary to see somebody being made whole or, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like people have seen somebody in a, in, a, in a certain way, you know what I'm saying, a certain uh, energy, you know what I'm saying, for a very long time. And so, yeah, the energy that somebody's in now. It definitely could be a little bit scary to people, you know, but it's something about, yeah, somebody's anger. So somebody, yeah, somebody definitely, uh, uh, knows that they have an anger issue. You know what I mean? Somebody knows that, yeah, that's, that's a big challenge, but I feel like that it's not holding them back or it's no longer. So, so yeah, somebody is, yeah, learning how to manage their, um, anger. So somebody definitely could be, you know, going to therapy or something like that. Yeah. Learn how to express themselves. Um, and maybe somebody yeah, is, is, is mad about that. You know what I mean? Um, but also scared because yeah, somebody is finding themselves. Somebody is being made whole. Somebody is no longer allowing, you know, people, places and things that don't serve their highest good to handicap them or to hold them back. Mm-hmm. 
yeah this is my learning lessons card at the bottom of the deck so yeah somebody's learning uh some lessons here somebody's also taking notes so whoever's resonating with this message yeah you don't even know that yeah people are taking notes so yeah you've came a long way you know what i'm saying you're you're being looked at as superhero you know what i'm saying to many people and you don't even know it yeah, so there are people that are taking notes, but there's also people that are scared, yeah, because, yeah, somebody could be finally learning some type of lessons, and somebody, yeah, could be choosing to, yeah, become whole. But it's something about a lesson, so, yeah. So there's somebody, yeah, out here that's still piping hot, you know what I'm saying, mad. So there definitely could be somebody else, you know what I'm saying, behind the scenes that, yeah, um, they're angry. And maybe they don't care you know what i'm saying to learn any lessons i feel like that there is a lesson that's going to scare somebody here or somebody yeah it's something about what somebody does and it's going to scare them into yeah learning a lesson and maybe it's whoever this person is you know what i'm saying maybe this person yeah the reason why they're in the wheelchair is xyz and so that's a part of a lesson Mhm. Mm wow Why is this overcoming obstacles? Sticky situation. So somebody definitely, yeah, could get themselves in a sticky situation or they've already got themselves in a sticky situation because of the anger. Maybe it's this person in this wheelchair. Maybe they, this person was scared, you know what I'm saying, to learn lessons or scared, you know what I'm saying, to to, to uh, walk down, you know, the path of, of right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody definitely, yeah. If somebody's in a wheelchair, um, somebody definitely could have be could have been scared because they thought that they weren't going to be able to walk again. But somebody definitely, yeah, they could definitely walk again for sure. Wow, somebody threw somebody up underneath the bus. This is my throwing up under the bus car. Cracking under the pre under pressure. So this done went this this message done went totally left. For sure. Mm-hmm. I'm also picking up too that yeah. Somebody definitely could have done something out of anger, like threw somebody up underneath the bus out of anger. Mm -hmm. But somebody definitely, yeah, could be scared because somebody is choosing to get their life together. Uh, that, yeah, some, some, some truth is going to be exposed or revealed. Yeah, something about tour bus as well. So somebody could be going on tour. Somebody could uh, be a star or somebody uh, could be going on tour with a star. So somebody could get an uh, opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to go and uh, perform, you know what I'm saying, with, with a celebrity or something like that. Somebody definitely, yeah, could have just thrown somebody up underneath the bus, you know what I'm saying, to... Uh, to come back, you know what I'm saying, and be like, yeah, I'm here to save the day, you know what I'm saying, like knight in shining armor type of situation. Somebody definitely could have gotten hit by a bus, you know what I'm saying, that's how somebody could have gotten into a wheelchair, somebody could be, yeah, scared of buses now. If that's the case, somebody, yeah, they're not going to allow that to, you know what I'm saying, stop them. I feel like somebody's still going to get on the bus. But it's something about, yeah, somebody um, throwing somebody up underneath the bus. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe somebody pulled some, you know what I'm saying, uh, saved somebody's life by throwing them underneath the bus or something like that. Wow, why is a superhero here? But somebody definitely is scared about being thrown under the bus or throwing somebody up underneath the bus.
Because, yeah, I feel like that uh, if that's the case, somebody's scared because um, the person that they threw under the bus was something like a superhero, you know what I'm saying? Something like a guardian angel. Or the fact of the matter is, um, yeah, somebody just knows that somebody is a good individual. So somebody threw a good individual, you know what I'm saying, underneath the bus. I don't feel like that uh, somebody, if somebody helped save somebody's life, they didn't throw them underneath the bus, you know what I'm saying? Like they didn't be like, yeah, they saved my life, but they're the ones that threw me up underneath the bus so my legs could get crushed. No, um, something else happened out of anger amongst people. Um, and maybe somebody knows, you know what I'm saying? Or the, how somebody saved somebody's life was about that situation, if that makes any sense. Somebody's still being looked at as a superhero. And so with that being said, yeah, somebody or people basically threw the superhero up underneath the bus. And now I feel like, yeah, somebody definitely could be trying to come in and save the day or, you know what I'm saying, trying to come in to, uh, to, to speak some truth or to express, you know what I'm saying, uh, I guess why they threw somebody up underneath the bus. Somebody definitely could have thought that somebody was stronger than them or, you know what I'm saying, that somebody overpowered them or, you know what I'm saying, somebody possibly thought that, yeah, they should have, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, been loyal to, you know, their friend instead of the one that, yeah, chose to do the right thing or something like that. This message is kind of weird. It started out good, but now it's becoming weird. Give me one for the superhero. Yeah, somebody definitely wants uh, somebody to take their guard down here. But it's something about, yeah, not smashing into a wall. So somebody threw somebody up underneath the bus so that they wouldn't, yeah, smash into a wall. So that they wouldn't uh, get in trouble or so that, yeah. Somebody, yeah. I feel like somebody did some stuff out of anger, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that whoever this person is, yeah, they possibly are realizing it. So they're going through a lot of realizations at this time, and they're realizing that, they, yeah, they did some stuff out of anger. Give me one more for the superhero. Feel like that, yeah, somebody's finding out how serious uh, throwing somebody up underneath the bus is. I'm also picking up too, yeah, some because we saw that learning lessons card, so somebody could be, yeah, figuring out the, yeah, these lessons or some type of lesson that somebody is learning or about to learn. Yeah, it's serious. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have freckles, big ears, red hair, orange hair. Mm-hmm. But it's also, yeah, also realizing that, yeah, um, that somebody's a good person, you know? And maybe, yeah, somebody is trying to be somebody's knight in shining armor. Or somebody, you know what I'm saying, is trying to, you know what I'm saying, tell the truth or do the right thing or whatever the situation is. But I feel like that, um... It definitely could be after something, uh, literally has, uh taking place and and I was picking picking up on the past so yeah something about the past is very relevant mm -hmm. so yeah going back to somebody or people trying to get somebody piping hot mad you know what I'm saying trying to cause distractions or trying to cause confusion you know chaos have a pandemonium I feel like that um that could backfire or it backfired and so yeah somebody or people are finding out how serious you know what I'm saying uh, something really is and it definitely got something to do with somebody's strength as well so somebody yeah was trying to you know what I'm saying uh, weaken somebody by throwing them on, up underneath the bus or weaken somebody you know what I'm saying? By, uh, yeah, causing some type of confusion, distractions, chaos, havoc, and pandemonium for somebody. Yeah, 
it didn't work it's not working yeah somebody's getting bad karma this is my bad karma bad luck card good luck good karma card somebody yeah but something about March because this is my St. Patrick's Day card March card so something about March is significant Mm -hmm. and the fact of the matter is yeah somebody's serious somebody doesn't want to be with anybody with somebody and maybe that's it maybe somebody is finding out that the person that they were with threw them up underneath the bus yeah I feel like whoever's resonating with this message yeah while you're over there busy being a superhero you know what I'm saying uh, yeah somebody definitely could be finding out that they were thrown up underneath the bus. There could be a friend that finds out that another friend threw them up underneath the bus. Mm -hmm. So somebody could be finding out a lot of things. And that could be by coincidence. You know what I'm saying? By chance that somebody's finding out all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow. Why is this coming together in the reverse? We got calm in the reverse. So yeah, somebody mad. Somebody's piping hot out here. So yeah, there is somebody that's mad because yeah, breakup, severing ties. Um, somebody definitely could be severing ties. You know what I'm saying? With friends, family members, lovers, ex-lovers. You know what I'm saying? People in general. And somebody definitely, yeah, could be moving to another state. Because I was picking up on that uh, state energy. So something about, yeah, moving to another state. Somebody could live in another state or something like that. Um, but somebody's mad. Mm -hmm. Somebody, yeah, definitely is trying to piss somebody off, though. Or trying to, yeah, cause somebody. And, and maybe that could happen. Somebody could have a panic attack. Or somebody could have an anxiety attack or something like that. Or, or a sudden outburst of anger that leads to some type of health problem here is also what I'm picking up yeah cuz somebody or people are gonna be shocked somebody could get so mad that yeah something happens to their heart and they gotta get their heart shocked or something like that But I'm also picking up too that yeah, there could be some truth that 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 comes out. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people are gonna be shocked about it because it's been hidden for a long time. But it's something about yeah, somebody's mad as hell, or somebody's gonna be mad whenever this truth comes out. But I'm also picking up too that yeah, that that truth could also. Um, be the fact that yeah somebody or people are finding out that yeah somebody threw or some people threw somebody up underneath the bus so there were people that knew something or were a part of something and they basically threw somebody up underneath the bus or you know what i'm saying they ratted or snitched on somebody is what i'm picking up and so somebody definitely could yeah in their mind think not really think that it was these people that would do it mm-hmm And maybe, yeah, somebody could have been a, a lifesaver. Somebody could have been somebody's guardian angel or somebody's earth angel. You know what I'm saying? Angel on earth. You know what I mean? And, and yeah, maybe maybe this earth angel, this angel on earth could have been trying to tell somebody like, look, you know what I mean? Get your life together. You know what I'm saying? Become whole. Heal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, become the super superhero that you know that you are. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the situation is. And maybe somebody was like, yeah, whatever. Um, I'll just continue to be, you know what I'm saying? The Joker. I'll continue to be, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the villain or whatever the situation is. I feel like somebody possibly is now wanting to be serious, you know what I'm saying, about being, yeah, the superhero or, you know what I'm saying, being strong or healing or whatever the situation is. And it doesn't involve any of the people that they have been, you know what I'm saying, around. Mm hmm And it's like, yeah, somebody or people are scared for somebody to find out like this one last thing. Because y'all see how it's one square uh, and it's yellow. So something about, yeah, a friend. 
So there is a friend involved, you know what I'm saying? There, I feel like that there could be multiple friends involved, or there could be like a friend, or yeah, a couple of friends, family members, lovers, ex-lovers, or whatever the situation is. Mm-hmm. Somebody definitely is serious about, yeah, agitating somebody, irritating somebody, getting up underneath somebody's skin, getting somebody to pop off or something like that. Mm-hmm. And it's something about, yeah, somebody sharing what happened to them. Mm. There is somebody that, yeah, is serious about keeping two people apart. Be aware, because I feel like the, yeah, if, it's, if two people come together, there is people that literally is going to try to keep them apart. Somebody, yeah, they got an anger issue out here. Going, we keep going back and forth. So something about back and forth. So yeah, I don't know if somebody wants to want somebody to go back and forth, or you know what I'm saying. This is somebody that that somebody has already went back and forth with, as far as like a past person. So I'm picking up that yeah, somebody could be getting a new person. You know what I'm saying, like a new love connection. But the, the the calm energy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, is going to be, not be happy because, yeah, they're, two people are not coming together. You know what I'm saying? They're not moving in together. They're not being together. Yeah, so somebody is, they're going to be, yeah, pissed off about it. But it's also, yeah, something about... um And it could be somebody's friend, you know what I'm saying? Like a past person's friend. So like a past person's friend, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe this is a, a, a past person's friend that they haven't seen in a long time. I don't know. It's something about a friend and a friend, you know what I'm saying? Um, and somebody being pissed off, you know what I'm saying? Not wanting two people to be together. So, and I was picking up on like a tour bus or something like that. So somebody could be a celebrity, you know what I'm saying? Or a lightweight celebrity or, you know what I'm saying? Something about a tour. So I don't know, y'all. This message is all over the place, but we're going to keep going with it. Uh, piping hot. Yeah, we got airplane. So something about an airplane. So somebody, yeah, definitely could be traveling. Um, but this airplane, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Something about coming back from coming back to the United States. So somebody, yeah, could be out of state. I mean, out of uh, the country. So something about traveling out of the country, or something about yeah, something happening out of the country or out of state, or yeah, somebody is moving. Or somebody, people are just going to be mad because somebody's, yeah, going to be traveling in the country. You know what I'm saying? Uh, riding in uh, on tour buses, riding in private jets or something like that. But, yeah, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, heavy Aquarius energy. And then we have, yeah, the unconditional love card that flipped over, but it flipped over in the reverse. So, yeah, conditional love. Cruise ship. Somebody is about to be living a different type of lifestyle. That's what I'm picking up. Mm-hmm. As well. So this could be, yeah, that big reward. This could be, yeah, something that happens by chance. And and, and I'm also picking up, too, the yeah... Because the coming together card is in the reverse. So with that being said, yeah, it doesn't it isn't necessarily like a love situation. Like somebody meets somebody by chance and maybe it's just about business, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know what I'm saying, it's just about a friendship or whatever the situation is. I feel like the yeah, somebody is about to get some type of big reward and I feel like it it's a life changing reward, regardless if, if two people come together in a love situation or not. Um, but there's going to be other people that are going to be mad as shit, for sure. Give me one for this piping hot. Yeah, this is the tower card um, in this deck, but it's in the reverse. So, yeah, karma.
Wow. So lesson karma. So somebody's getting karma. I just heard what goes around comes around. Mm. Wow. Be aware of somebody trying to, yeah, get their get back off of somebody. Because that's also what I'm picking up as well. Or maybe, yeah. But, yeah, whatever is getting ready to take place as far as this big reward, as far as something happening by coincidence, by chance, that somebody's not expecting, yeah. Uh... It's a part of somebody's karma. So this is a, yeah, somebody failed to learn some type of lesson or something like that. And so, yeah, their karma is to watch something take place. Mm-hmm. Wow. I feel like, yeah, somebody's ancestor could be bringing something or somebody to the forefront. Or many things to the forefront, you know, good and bad. But I feel like the yeah. I feel like the yeah. Somebody definitely um, <laughs> needs to also remain uh, calm whenever this takes place. Uh, because, yeah, somebody pissed off or they're going to be pissed off and it's about karma. They're going to know, you know what I'm saying, that... Yeah, this is karma. This is a part of a lesson. You gon' you gonna get you gonna learn that lesson or you gonna you know what I'm saying or you're gonna get this karma. So somebody didn't want to learn a lesson, so yeah, they're getting karma. Um And it's about somebody's anger. So somebody, yeah, definitely could do something out of anger and something could happen. But it's also, yeah, what goes around comes around. So somebody did something to somebody thinking that, you know what I'm saying, nothing was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? And maybe years down the line, yeah, it's when they get their karma or something like that. That's the literally get worthy to take place as well. So something definitely could happen to somebody. You know what I'm saying? And it is. It's karma. They're going to know that it's karma. What I'm also picking up too, that yeah, if somebody was, you know what I'm saying, trying to get somebody angry or trying to do something, you know what I'm saying, as far as like throwing somebody up underneath the bus or, you know what I'm saying, uh, trying to scare somebody or whatever the situation is, again, yeah, somebody's going to find out how serious that is because, yeah, what goes around comes around. So, yeah, they're getting whatever it is that they try to do to somebody. So, yeah, somebody's scared, you know what I'm saying, now, if somebody was trying to scare somebody, they're scared now. Um... If somebody was, you know what I'm saying, anti-hero, this person is not going to be saved, if that makes any sense, you know what I mean? Um, if this person was trying to cause you yeah, a chaos African pandemonium or some type of storm, or these people, you know what I'm saying, was trying to ca uh, cause chaos African pandemonium or some type of storm, you know what I'm saying, to take place in somebody's life, the storm is over, you know what I'm saying, or trying to cause somebody to have bad karma, because we did see the... Uh, the the St. Patrick's Day card, the bad karma, bad luck card, or the good luck, good karma card, but it was in the reverse. So yeah, uh, good. Uh, if somebody or people were trying to call somebody to have bad karma, bad luck, yeah, that's literally what's going on uh, for somebody or some, or some people here. Mhm. Mm wow. I feel like uh, whoever's resonating with this message, um, it's like, yeah, lifesaver, saving the day, saving the moment, saving, you know what I'm saying? I like the energy. But it's like all the chaos, havoc, and pandemonium that's going around it or surrounding it. It's like people are mad or somebody's mad because, yeah, somebody likes to help people you know what i'm saying somebody yeah, is is a lifesaver somebody you know what i'm saying likes to is is helping people to you know what i'm saying get their lives together or you know what i'm saying or just being an example you know what i'm saying for other people and i feel like yeah it's making a lot of people you know what i'm saying look somebody's way for all you know what i'm saying for for you know what i'm saying good good reasons you know what i mean 
I do feel like that, yeah, somebody, you know what I'm saying, or some people are sending somebody the evil eye, for sure. But it's kind of like, um, it's because, uh, again, somebody's shining, you know what I'm saying? Somebody is uh, being looked at, you know what I'm saying, as a good person, a good individual that they are. Somebody, yeah, is being looked at as a superhero or, you know what I'm saying, somebody's an earth angel. Somebody, yeah, um, yeah. But I feel like, yeah, somebody had to go through a whole lot to, 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 to get to the point to where, yeah, or they had to go through a lot with other people to get to the point to where they're being looked at, at you know what I'm saying, as a superhero or, you know what I'm saying, being looked at as a leader or, you know what I'm saying, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is crazy. But there is somebody that is pissed the fluck off. Or they're going to be pissed the fluck off. Because I feel like the yeah, somebody or some people are going to find out that, um, or, or they're going to realize, yeah, why they're getting karma. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the yeah. When somebody realizes why they're getting karma, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, yeah, that's when they gonna uh pop B fluck off. You know what I'm saying? Like really pop off. But it's also, yeah, um somebody's storm being over. You know what I mean? Because this is a storm, but it's in the reverse. So yeah, somebody's storm being over. Um, so yeah, if these people cause this, you know what I'm saying, thunderstorm for somebody, you know what I mean, it's it's over, or it's about to be over, yeah, and people are going to be pissed off, they're going to be pissed off because yeah, somebody's whole life possibly is getting ready to change, but this is something that happens by coincidence, so with that being said, yeah, somebody could come in contact with their, you know what I'm saying, soulmate, or their twin flame, or their divine counterpart, but this person, you know what I'm saying, they could, yeah, travel the world, or you know what I'm saying, they could, you know, be, um, I mean, uh, yeah, they could be a, uh, you know, uh, uh, a performer, you know what I'm saying? Like a singer or a rapper or, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a comedian or, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's something about, yeah, somebody coming in contact, something happening by, co by coincidence, by chance, and, and it's going to work, you know what I'm saying? Regardless, again, if it's for love or business or whatever the situation is, it's a life-changing situation. Um, and so, yeah, <laughs> I feel like that people were trying to, yeah, stop somebody from being, one, being looked at as a superhero that they are, you know what I'm saying, two, from, you know what I'm saying, uh, from leveling up, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for climbing new heights, you know what I'm saying, uh, the fact of the matter is, yeah, these, these, these people, def they definitely looking like haters to me, and so, yeah, Somebody is about to, yeah, soar real high over their haters. We saw the airplane. We see the bus. I saw a cruise ship in the deck. So it's something about, yeah, somebody's life is going to change. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that whoever this is, that somebody, yeah, meets by chance, by coincidence, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that, yeah, this person ain't coming to play. This person is serious, you know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody has a child or children. Yeah, they're going to be serious about the, the, the child or children, you know what I'm saying, being successful. Um... Uh, yeah, I feel like it's, it's a big reward for somebody. No doubt. No freaking doubt. And all those people, because it, because it got confusing, you know what I'm saying, as far as who all those people are, I feel like that they could be exes, you know what I'm saying, ex-lovers, friends, or, you know what I'm saying, somebody's lover, or whatever the situation is, I don't even care. What I care about is, yeah, that somebody is about to, yeah, about to receive a big reward. Somebody's storm is about to be over. Point blank in a sense, and sense and period. But somebody earned it. It's not like, you know what I'm saying? But it was, it, yeah, that's what God, the most high, wants for somebody to have. You know what I'm saying? So forget what everybody else is talking about. Nobody cares about people being mad or what they're going to say when it happens or, you know what I'm saying, trying to stop whatever it is. It ain't, it, yeah. And, and, and for real, you know, chance. With something happening by coincidence, by chance, it's 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 a fated event. You know what I'm saying? Because everything happens because the Most High says it's going to happen, whether it be good or bad. So, yeah, this is a fated event. You know what I'm saying? It was fated to happen. You know what I mean? And so, yeah. 
But that being said, regardless if this is love, you know what I'm saying, or business, or you know what I'm saying, love and business, or whatever the situation is, I feel like that, yeah, it's going to make somebody very happy, but it's also, yeah, going to change somebody's life in a great way. But I but I do feel like that, yeah, there could be people, you know what I'm saying, um, that are going to have a problem with whatever this is here, you know? There's going to be people that are going to be mad because they're going to be like, yeah, that wasn't supposed to be their life. That was supposed to be my life. And it's going to be other people, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, that's going to, like, somebody's ex-lover is going to be like, hell no, they ain't going to be living a rich lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, going back to that, I'm glad. Thank you, Holy Spirit, with that angel number 88. What it say? It says, welcome riches. State your intention. And so whoever's resonating with this message, you could have already stated your intention. You know what I'm saying? What 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 you you know what I'm saying? We're trying to manifest. So this definitely could be, yeah, a manifestation coming to fruition. A hell of a manifestation that's about to come to fruition. A big ass reward, you know what I'm saying? Uh manifestations are rewards, you know what I'm saying? For our faith, for our obedience, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good, yeah, for our good works, our good deeds. Somebody's waited long enough, you know what I'm saying, for for a life, you know what I'm saying, that they have been manifesting. Somebody's waited long enough, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Wow. Wow. This is this is crazy, but 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 it's awesome. You know what I mean? But again, they're going to be people, you know what I'm saying, they're mad. That's going to be mad. They already mad. You know what I'm saying? They already been hating. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like they're going to stop hating. Once a hater, always a hater. Uh, Yeah. Once a naysayer, always a naysayer. But yeah, they're, uh, but back, going back to, um, yeah, somebody's ex. Yeah. I feel like that that's the one. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that is the freaking one that's going to try to, yeah, really, you know what I'm saying, stop. Uh, Really, you know what I'm saying? try to keep a storm going, you know what I'm saying? To the point to where, yeah, something can happen to where they remove themselves, to be honest. You know, this could be remove themselves, like, yeah, have a, a panic attack or, you know what I'm saying, a nervous breakdown, you know, to have to go somewhere, you know, to a hospital or, yeah, have a nervous bre a breakdown or a panic attack to the point to where, yeah, something happens, you know what I'm saying, with their heart. And they got to go to the hospital or, you know what I'm saying, do something out of anger, you know what I'm saying, to where, you know what I mean, they get locked up. Or something from the past could catch up to this person, you know what I'm saying, to where they could get locked up. Because um, somebody, yeah, has an anger problem out here, but I'm picking up multiple people having anger problems. Whoever's resonating with this message, you could have had an anger problem, but you, yeah, you just could have overcome that, you know what I'm saying? You could have healed from that, you know what I mean? Wow. All I can say is Wow. I just feel like uh, somebody is definitely uh, destined to have a great future, you know. Um, this definitely could be a future situation, you know, like not a present situation, something that could happen, you know what I'm saying. The future is like in one month, you know what I'm saying. That's considered the future, you know, in two months, in, you know, a year, you know. Um, but, yeah, somebody's destined for a great future. And this is exactly, you know what I'm saying, yeah. And maybe that's what why people are already mad and hating and being naysayers because, yeah, people know it, you know. Uh, somebody's scared about what somebody knows here with the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. But it's also, yeah, somebody, yeah, being a, a, a clout chaser, you know what I'm saying? Chasing for, chasing for clout. Somebody definitely, yeah, could... Uh, yeah, like chase um, celebrities or like, you know what I'm saying, uh, do anything, you know what I'm saying, to get on somebody's tour bus or whatever the situation is here when somebody's definitely getting ready to be, yeah, the, the star of, of a show, you know what I'm saying, have their own tour bus or something like that. This is crazy. But it's something about, yeah, a side chick as well. So if somebody's hidden lover, somebody's, you know what I'm saying, side chick or side dude definitely could have thrown them under, under the bus or something like that. But something about, yeah, what was hidden is coming to, yeah. It's coming to the uh, forefront here. Mm-hmm. 
Yep, there is a big change that is taking place with the tower here. Big transformation. Whoever's resonating with this message, yeah, you could have, yeah, um, went through some type of big transformation. Mm hmm. Somebody's all up in their feelings about it here. We got the King of Cups. So, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, I was picking up that Pisces energy. So, heavy Pisces energy. Yeah. Uh, this could be, yeah. Somebody that's all up in their feelings. Definitely a masculine energy. Something about somebody's dad or somebody's baby daddy as well. Mm hmm. Somebody definitely is serious. You know what I'm saying? About, um,. Yeah, somebody not, you know what I'm saying, having a kid by somebody else or something like that as well. This is crazy. But yeah, somebody needs to remain calm because I feel like the, yeah, uh, something could go left real quick with the Eight of Swords. But if somebody's trapped, well, somebody also, yeah, could do something stupid to get themselves locked up. And so, yeah, that's karma. But it's something about, yeah, somebody trying to get somebody locked up by lying as well with the seven of swords mm -hmm. somebody definitely could have lied you know what I'm saying and somebody could be locked up off of lies or somebody's lies could just be catching up with them so whoever it is that would lie to get somebody locked up yeah what goes around comes around so somebody's about to be locked up we got a queen of swords So Libra Gemini Aquarius. So yeah, heavy Libra Gemini Aquarius. Heavy Aquarius energy out here. Um, but yeah. Two of Wands in a reverse. So yeah, somebody's plan failed. <laughs> somebody's also no longer at a crossroad as well. So yeah, somebody's plan failed. Uh, so if it was to lie to get somebody locked up, plan failed. If it was, you know what I'm saying, to throw somebody the other, underneath the bus. If somebody did throw somebody up underneath the bus, yeah, it didn't work. Mm-hmm. Yep. Somebody's, yeah, plan failed when it comes to possibly getting somebody pregnant here with the uh, Nine of Cups in the reverse. But it's something about, yeah, uh, somebody's plan failed when it comes to, yeah, stopping somebody's uh, wish fulfillment. Or stopping somebody from being able to manifest, yeah, their wishes and dreams. Stopping somebody, yeah, from being, you know what I'm saying, the superhero, the earth angel, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, yeah, the good person that they are. Somebody's playing fail, yeah, when it when, when they were trying to get somebody out of their zen moment. Uh, yeah, because this is meditation. So, yeah, somebody's playing fail when it comes to, yeah, trying to piss somebody off or trying to get somebody, yeah, so steaming hot that they do something stupid. You know what I'm saying? Or literally, that could be what, you know what I'm saying, somebody is still trying to do. So, either way it goes, whoever, you know, was resonating with this message, remain calm. Somebody's trying to get somebody, yeah, to do something stupid so that, yeah, they won't have this bright future or they won't be able to have this big reward, you know what I'm saying, that's coming their way. But I feel like somebody's already, um, they've already tried it and it failed or it backfired. Yeah, what goes around comes around. So, yeah, um, somebody's all up in their head now. To the point to where, yeah, something could happen. Uh, yeah, all up in their head about, yeah, the words that were said, the, the rational decision, you know what I'm saying, that they made to do whatever it is that they did out of anger. Mm -hmm. Yep, Eight of Wands, that's, yeah, projection. So negative projection, I feel like, the, yeah, whoever's resonating with this message, you definitely did project some positive stuff. Um, but the, yeah, so somebody, yeah, they were projecting negative energy. They were projecting anger, irritation. You know what I'm saying? They were projecting some energy to get somebody, um, yeah, piss somebody off. Well, be aware. Yeah. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, trying to communicate some stuff to somebody to piss somebody off. Mm -hmm. We got King of Swords. So yeah, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, heavy air energy out here. Mm-hmm. Somebody definitely wants to have some type of serious conversation here with somebody. And it definitely could have something to do, yeah, with the truth. And it definitely could, yeah, it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, an air sign. 
somebody yeah uh, is going going to be pissed off so yeah with that being said when somebody finds out something here you know and it definitely could be you know the fact that they're not going to be able to be with i feel like this is that x that they're not going to be able to be with somebody or something like that because somebody else you know what i'm saying somebody has gotten a new life or whatever the situation is yeah somebody going to be pissed off like pissed off beyond pissed Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And I feel like, yeah, all somebody is thinking about is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody getting pregnant or something like that. But I'm uh, I'm also picking up, too, that, yeah, uh, whoever this ex-lover is, they were, they were played. So the person, you know what I'm saying, that they... Uh, you know, were with or whatever. Yeah, they played them all the way down to, you know what I'm saying, to the T. I feel like that they played them as far as the pregnancy. They played them, you know what I'm saying, to get them involved in doing something, you know what I'm saying, and making an irrational, irrational decision to do something out of anger. Um, yeah. And so with that being said, yeah, they played themselves. So whoever this ex-lover is, they played themselves only to get ready to see somebody, something happen, you know what I'm saying? Uh... For whoever's last name with this message. Yeah, this big reward. You know what I'm saying? That somebody's ancestor is about to bring to the forefront. You know what I mean? This coincidence. You know what I'm saying? But th but it's faded, you know? Uh, For real, for real. Yeah, somebody is, is yeah. They're going to be mad as shit. And they're possibly, yeah, going <laughs> to... Wow. It's kind of giving me like that. If, if I can't have them, no one can energy. So, yeah, y'all be aware because I don't like it. I don't like it, but I feel like, but whoever this is, yeah, they duped themselves, so they chose somebody else, they didn't choose whoever tries to name with this message, you know what I'm saying, and they're really seeing that whoever tries to name with this message is, yeah, they, they, they are real one, you know what I'm saying, they are a superhero or an earth angel, you know what I'm saying, uh, yeah, They, they, they see, you know what I'm saying, that yeah, there are a lot of people that definitely could be trying to choose whoever's resonating with this message. But whoever is resonating with this message is already spoken for, says uh, whoever's resonating with this message is ancestors. You know what I mean? Whoever this is, they had the chance is what I'm picking up. This person, yeah, they definitely could have been the one that was supposed to, you know what I'm saying, uh, have a great future with whoever's resonating with this message and 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 yeah they chose not to or they chose not to learn lessons or they chose to 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 stay the way that they were you know what i mean it's somebody else that's matching whoever's resonating with this message is fly and and yeah whoever's resonating with this message yeah something is getting ready to happen by coincidence by chance and it's yeah meeting this person coming in contact with this person regardless if it's a love situation or you know what i'm saying just like business uh whoever's resonating with this message Life is about to change, you know, in a great way. Give me one for um, the column in the reverse. Yeah, seven of wands. Something about, yeah, standing up, standing your ground. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but this is giving me, like, protection, but it's looking, but it's also giving me, like, boundary as well. Mm-hmm. So, something about, yeah, boundaries. So, whoever's resonating with this message, yeah. <clears throat> Because I did pick up, because we did see the big blue wall, but it was in the reverse. So, yeah, somebody definitely could be trying to get you to take your boundaries down. Don't do it. If you communicate with somebody, communicate. But, yeah, it's a lot of uh, fire out here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, it's giving me, like, Aries energy. So, you could be Aries or have Aries in your chart, or there's Aries involved as well. Something about, yeah, the boss. I feel like, yeah. You're the boss of your life, you know what I'm saying? Somebody definitely, yeah, could be trying to boss you around, whoever this, yeah. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, how many chances does somebody have? So, somebody's already been given uh, multiple chances here. But it's only about, yeah, holding back. Holding back information. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so somebody's karma also, yeah, 
It has to do with holding withholding information. Or you know what I'm saying, telling half truth. Why is a uh, the lightning card in the reverse? Yeah, the devil. So yeah. Getting karma, you know what I'm saying? Uh because of their actions, you know what I'm saying? Because of them choosing, you know what I'm saying? Uh a karmic situation. Capricorn energy. So yeah, somebody so there's a Capricorn that yeah is getting karma. But there's also somebody that, that is realizing, you know what I'm saying, that a part of why they're getting karma is because of a Capricorn. Because they chose, yeah, the dark side. Uh yeah, because they chose, you know what I'm saying, not to heal, because they chose to make irrational decisions, which led them, you know what I'm saying, to to do irrational things. Mm-hmm. Wow. And I feel like, yeah, whoever this person is, if they try to communicate like, yeah, let's, you know what I'm saying, this ex-lover, can we get back together, or whatever the situation is, I feel like that um, uh, whoever this person is, uh, if somebody was to tell them no, I feel like, the, yeah, they're going to be pissed the hell off, whoever this, whoever's ex this is. But something about, yeah, somebody being the devil in training or something like that, so I don't know. Somebody doesn't want uh, somebody to remember something as well. This could be the past, you know what I'm saying? This could be, you know what I'm saying, some stuff that somebody did to somebody. Um, but yeah, whoever's resonating with this message, yeah. You can definitely be expecting some unexpected financial resources. So yeah, that's one of the things that you weren't expecting. So this could happen by coincidence, by chance, that you could receive some unexpected financial resources. Mm-hmm. I'm also picking up too. Somebody was somebody was throwing somebody up underneath the bus, or somebody was um uh you know what I'm saying, lying to get somebody locked up, or you know what I'm saying, trying to scare somebody, um, trying to stop somebody's uh plans as far as for their life or whatever the situation is. Yeah, it was all because somebody thought that they were gonna get some type of financial resources here. Yeah. Somebody, yeah, definitely could have thrown somebody up underneath the bus and lied and said that somebody wasn't pregnant or, you know what I'm saying, or whatever the situation is. I feel like a lot of stuff was being done behind the scenes. A lot of lies, you know what I'm saying, a lot of made up stuff. Uh, yeah, to get somebody up to out, out of there, you know what I'm saying, out of their, 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 their zen, you know what I'm saying. Get somebody, yeah, in their angry bag. Or be aware, you know what I'm saying, of, of this, you know what I'm saying. Uh, going to take place, but I really feel like that it already could have taken place or it's taking place now And so yeah, whoever's resonating with this message remain calm keep your emotions in check because yeah Some this will be shocking. So whatever this is is going to be shocking and then on top of that Yeah, we saw the shock card. So it's not going to only be shocking uh, to whoever's resonating with this message But it's going to be shocking to a lot of people And yeah, there's people that ain't gonna be laughing anymore, but there's also somebody that ain't laughing anymore um or people that ain't laughing anymore. But there is somebody that, yeah, they're severing ties. They don't want, you know what I'm saying? They don't want no more parts of some people here. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, yeah, keep your emotions in check. This will be shocking. And it could be that somebody, yeah, is about to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Because they done found out that they done duped themselves. They done got duped. They done got played to the T. You know what I'm saying? By the devil. By Capricorn. Yeah, we got a Leo, so yeah. You could be a Leo or have Leo in your chart or there's a Leo involved. Mm-hmm. I'm also picking up too the yeah. It'll be shocking to find out that there was a Leo involved in, in something here. Yeah. Somebody can't keep it up for much longer, so somebody can't uh uh you know what I'm saying? 
whatever it is, the, the information that they were withholding, they can't keep it in for much longer. And it definitely could be a Leo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because somebody was lost in the sauce. Somebody definitely could have thought that whoever was resonated with this message was lost in the sauce. But I feel like, yeah, somebody's lost in the sauce. They possibly didn't know why they were getting karma. Now they're realizing why they're getting karma. Mm hmm Yep. Either somebody thought that uh, whoever's just name with this message would go along with some type of plan. Or, you know what I'm saying, uh, somebody thought that, yeah, somebody or some people in this situation was going to go along with some type of plan. And it definitely could have something to do with, yeah, uh, getting some unexpected financial resources that somebody or people possibly didn't get. But I'm also picking up, too, yeah, be aware of somebody trying to communicate, you know what I'm saying, uh, and they're so angry, you know what I'm saying, that they say some stuff that they can't take back. But, you know what I'm saying, be aware, yeah, of them trying to get whoever's resonating with this message to go along with the plan. But it's something about, yeah, they're getting karma. Somebody's getting karma for going along with, with some type of plan here. Mm-hmm. Whoever's resonating with this message, uh, continue to trust and have faith in, you know what I'm saying, the process. Because, yeah, you know who's in control. You know who's in charge. But, again, keep your emotions in check. Because, yeah, whatever is getting ready to take place, good or bad, is going to be shocking. Um, you could be seeing the angel number 999. But, yeah, it's the wrap-up. It's the ending. So, I was picking up on the energy that, yeah, um, somebody is ending something here. Somebody could be severing ties, you know, uh, with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But something could be ending, you know what I'm saying? Like a court case or trial or something like that as well. But there are people that are, yeah, playing the blame game. So with that being said, be aware of you being in the blame game and you not knowing it. You know what I'm saying? Your name being one of the people that uh, somebody or some people were trying to play the uh, place the blame on. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. And there definitely could be somebody that, yeah, thought that you were going to be codependent on them. And so, yeah, they thought if they, you know what I'm saying, was to do something, you know what I'm saying, to get you scared or to, you know what I'm saying, uh, whatever they were doing, you know what I'm saying, they thought that they, yeah, they were just going to be your knight in shining armor. They thought that they were going to come in and save the day. But, yeah, no, uh-uh. Somebody, yeah, wants you, to, uh, wants you to be codependent on them. There's also somebody that could be purposely harming themselves to get sympathy. So that's that energy that I picked up as far as, yeah, somebody going to go too far or going to do too much. Mm -hmm. But it also could be a part of a plan. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody self-harming themselves, uh, you know what I'm saying, could be, you know, just a plan, a game. You know what I mean? That, yeah, it's going to go too far is what I feel like. Yeah, we got Divine Feminine. So, you could be a Divine Feminine. Or, you know what I'm saying? This is about a Divine Feminine. Mm-hmm. So, you... So, Divine Feminine, you could be a Leo or have Leo heavy in your chart. Whatever is getting ready to take place. Yeah. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, you know, whoever's your name with this message, you deserve it. And it's something about, yeah, these unexpected financial resources. So, uh, whatever is coming with this uh, that's happening by coincidence, by chance, that you're not expecting, it definitely has something to do with unexpected financial resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there are people that went along with the plan as far as, yeah, playing the blame game. So, yeah, there definitely could have been people who were trying to blame some stuff on whoever's just name with this message. And I don't feel like it was good stuff. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, so with that being said, yeah, there are somebody or some people that wanted a secret to remain hidden so we did see that four of pentacles so yeah somebody's getting karma you know what i'm saying because yeah whatever was hidden you, i feel like the yeah they shouldn't have done it one but yeah it's no longer hidden or it's no longer about to be hidden but it definitely could have something to do yeah with placing the blame on somebody trying to get somebody locked up by lying 
But it could be, you know, many other things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's something about, yeah, being thrown under the bus. People throwing somebody under underneath the bus. But, yeah, uh, there is somebody or some people that are praying for forgiveness. So whoever's resonating with this message, yeah, you need to know that there are people praying for, or there's somebody that's praying for forgiveness. And, yeah, there is somebody that, yeah, wants to, wants whoever's resonating with this message, divine feminine, divine masculine, uh, to drop your, your guard. Wow. Mm -hmm. if, if you don't have your guard up or if you don't have some type of boundaries, you definitely need to set boundaries. I don't know who this person is. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that it is. It definitely could be an ex. You know what I'm saying? Um. It definitely could be somebody that somebody, you know what I'm saying, has a child or children with. Don't have to be. Because uh, we did see that King of Cups. Um, but I feel like, the, yeah, somebody needs to set some boundaries. Because I feel like that somebody, whoever this is, it, it definitely could, have, you know what I'm saying, take place. Uh, it could be, it could start now, you know what I'm saying. While somebody is in the process of, you know what I'm saying, re about to reap this big reward or, you know what I'm saying, about to, something is about to happen by coincidence, you know what I'm saying, somebody or people just could be coming out of the woodwork, you know what I mean? Um, trying to, yeah, continue to uh, create some type of distractions or something like that. Um, so be aware because we do have the devil out here. And so, with that being said, yeah, somebody just needs to set boundaries. Um, if this happens, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, Whenever this happens, I feel like... Uh, that, yeah, somebody is already going to find... Been them found out some information, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but either way it goes, yeah, somebody has lack of discipline and focus anyway. And so, with that being said, yeah... Why would why would uh, somebody want to drop their guard to somebody that still lacks discipline and focus? So if this is somebody that has an anger issue, yeah, they're, they 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 still ain't disciplined when it comes to their anger. So they still yeah, yeah. And then we have self sabotage. Yeah, so somebody's in self sabotage mode, but somebody also yeah wants whoever's resonating with this message to self sabotage in some way shape form or fashion but we have imposter syndrome so there is an imposter out here so there is somebody that doesn't know who they are so they yeah basically take on other people's identities out here so i feel like the yeah uh somebody definitely is about to find that out as well so there could be a feminine energy that was walking around trying to act like that they were a divine feminine you know or something like that Somebody could all yeah, so so somebody's ex could be realizing that yeah, they were with an imposter. But that's not who I was resonating with this message is fault. So yeah, whoever this is, they could yeah, try to act like, you know what I'm saying? Uh that they done, you know, is trying to get themselves together, but I don't feel like that they are. I feel like that yeah, this per by the time this happens, this person has already could have already heard, like, yeah, uh who I was resonating with this message, you know what I'm saying, is living a whole different life now. So be aware. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just seen a master of deception. So yeah. Yep, but I feel like whoever this person is, you know what I'm saying, um, they finally know everything that was done to you. So with that being said, um, uh, there were people behind the scenes that were doing some things to whoever's resonating with this message, you know what I mean? And and maybe this person didn't have didn't have any parts of it, you know what I'm saying? But they stayed attached. So we did see that uh, uh, about to break card, you know, the string, the severing ties. So this person, yeah, they are they definitely are attached to people that were doing some stuff to whoever's resonating with this message. And so with that being said, um, that could be what this person try to use. 
yeah, I know what they did to you or whatever the situation is, but I feel like that whoever this person is, they're getting karma because they stayed attached to these people. Uh, be aware of this person, yeah, trying to give something to somebody, trying to make, you know what I'm saying, to try to make up for whatever those people done to who are resonating with this message because ain't no financial resources going to, you know what I'm saying, uh, suffice for what was done to somebody because, yeah, I feel like that uh, a lot of stuff was done to somebody here. People could have caught with the nine of cups in the reverse. People could have caused somebody to have a miscarriage. You know what I'm saying? Um, all type of stuff out here. And my condolences. But yeah, there is somebody that finally knows everything that was done to you. And this this could happen out of coincidence. out of, By chance. You know what I'm saying? This person could just find out, you know what I'm saying? The information. The truth. Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is, yeah. The reason why... Uh, whoever's resonating with this message is about to get uh, get a reward, this big reward. You know what I'm saying? It's because, yeah, you passed the test. So, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. So, that's why whoever's resonating with this message is, 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 is uh, yeah, about to receive this big reward. Wow. This is, this is what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> that's what's up. So congratulations, whoever's resonating with this message. So whatever test, you know what I'm saying, that that the so these people were trying to test you. You know what I'm saying? Everything that they were doing, you know what I'm saying? It was it was only a test. You know what I mean? And you passed it. Yeah, I feel like you passed it with flying colors, and so yeah, big reward. Yeah, you busy out here breaking generational curses as you should. As you should. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, what else is going to be shocking is, yeah, uh, somebody or, or some people are going to find out that, yeah, all these people are, are outing one another to get out of trouble. So these people done got themselves in some trouble and they're trying to get out. And definitely, yeah, has something to do with everything that was done to whoever's resonating with this message. Yeah, because, yeah, somebody or some people in this situation, they ain't got no boundaries. They out of control. Um, so with that being said, yeah, whoever's resonating with this message, you have boundaries. And if, and if you don't, you need to set them. Cause I feel like the, yeah, regardless if somebody knows what has happened to somebody or not, they chose to stay attached to these people. And so, yeah, they're getting karma. And so they're realizing why they're getting karma. It doesn't mean that the karma stops because they realize what, what these people have done to you and, 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 and they realize why they're getting karma. Yeah. It don't stop their karma. So we got a Scorpio. So, you could be a Scorpio or have Scorpio in your chart. There's a Scorpio that's definitely involved here. Um, but yeah, investigation as well. And so, with that being said, yeah, if somebody's plan was to, yeah, get the heat off of them by trying to get whoever's resonating with this message investigated or whatever the situation is, yeah, plan failed. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. Wealthy man. So, somebody definitely could, be, could come in contact with a wealthy man. There definitely could be a wealthy man involved. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there is somebody or some people that try to twist your words and now they have to eat theirs. So whatever, you know what I'm saying, was communicated, because we do have the serious card with the um, Eight of Wands. Yeah, whatever was communicated, you know, to somebody, they basically, yeah, try to twist somebody's words, you know what I'm saying, to basically make somebody look guilty is what I'm picking up. There definitely could be a wealthy man, you know what I'm saying, to try to twist somebody's words and now they have to eat theirs or something like that. Or the fact of the matter is, yeah, uh, somebody could have said, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, somebody, you know, how they get their money is, you know what I'm saying, uh, they, they sleep with wealthy men or whatever the situation is. Well, the fact of the matter is, that's now how somebody gets their money. That's not how somebody, you know what I'm saying, makes their way through life. But somebody definitely could be about to get a wealthy man or a wealthy woman, you know what I'm saying? Um, but an honest, you know what I'm saying, disciplined, focused, wealthy man or wealthy woman, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that matches somebody's fly. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is <laughs> this message is crazy, y'all, but I like it. What else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? Yeah, we got a fake friend out here. 
So there's a fake friend, you know what I'm saying? That, yeah, definitely threw somebody up underneath the bus. Whoever this fake friend is, yeah, I feel like that they're scared. Um, they're scared. And then we got a karmic soulmate. So we got a karmic soulmate out here. We got a fake friend and a karmic soulmate out here. Mm-hmm. Confirmation. So I feel like that, yeah, there is somebody that's finding out that their friend is fake. There, there's somebody that's finding out that yeah they were with the karmic soulmate and then we got a master of manipulation so I feel like the yeah somebody was acting out here acting like the yeah they were a superhero or they were about that action Jackson you know what I'm saying somebody's name could be Jackson uh, somebody yeah imposter syndrome so somebody yeah was trying to act like the yeah they was the beast from the east, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever the situation is, the best from the west, or you know what I'm saying? And yeah, there's people that, that done got manipulated by a master of manipulation out here. So yeah, somebody's ex could be finding out that yeah, they were manipulated by a master of manipulation. But I feel like that yeah, somebody's ex is also a master of manipulation. Mm-hmm. There is some type of financial payment that is coming here. So whoever's resonating with this message, just know that there is some type of financial payment that is coming. And we did see that unexpected financial resources. Yeah. And then we have the full moon. Um, so something could take place by the full moon. Um, the full moon, I think, is on the 23rd. So something could take place, you know what I'm saying? Or the fact of the matter is, yeah, something is going to take place. And it definitely has something to do, you know what I'm saying, with, with, with a change. But not for a good change. Mm hmm But I feel like it's, it, yeah, it's it, it's a change amongst these people. Somebody's getting karma handed to them by the devil himself. And then we have a sacrifice here. So with that being said, yeah, the full moon and sacrifice. So somebody definitely, yeah, could have tried to sacrifice somebody. But I'm also picking up, too, um, that, yeah, somebody's going to have to sacrifice something or somebody. What goes around comes around. I just heard an eye for an eye. Yep. Whoever's resonating with this message, just know a change is here. <laughs> Somebody could be from New Jersey. Um, and then we have, yeah, 555. So, yeah, you could be seeing the angel number 555-999. Yep. So, yeah. So, there is a change that is here, and that definitely could have something to do with why people are scared. They already know what's up. But I'm also picking up, too, that, yeah, something is going to click for these people on the full moon. Or, you know what I'm saying, it could be clicking now. Yeah, that something is about to change. A change is here. And, yeah, eye for an eye. Uh, what goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. Wow, we got public embarrassment here. So somebody definitely could have been trying to publicly embarrass whoever's resonating with this message. Somebody definitely could want to have some type of serious conversation about um, some type of public embarrassment. If somebody was, you know what I mean, uh, trying to cause some public embarrassment for somebody, yeah, they're getting karma for it. Karma is hitting back to back. So, yeah, some somebody or some people could be being publicly embarrassed as we speak. But I feel like this public embarrassment that they are getting, um, it definitely has something to do with a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? From the past to the present. You know what I mean? Yep. And karma is hitting them back to back because, yeah, I feel like if people were trying to um, publicly embarrass somebody to stop somebody from having, you know what I'm saying, a friend or having a lover or, or you know what I'm saying, whatever, being looked at as the good individual that they are. Or if somebody thought that somebody was alone, you know what I'm saying, yeah, let's just come against them. Let's just, you know what I'm saying, project the negative energy against them. Yeah, whoever's resonating with this message, yeah, you're never alone. You're never alone. <laughs> so yeah, your your ancestors, your guardian angels are definitely definitely protecting you here. And it's something about yeah, psycho mother, because that's what's at the bottom of the deck. So somebody yeah, during this full moon, somebody's mama uh could yeah, 
go haywire. Somebody's baby mama could go haywire. But it's something about, yeah, somebody standing their ground or somebody protecting themselves or setting some boundaries. Yeah, people know why they're getting karma. Or they're, or they're literally finding out, you know what I'm saying, why they're getting karma. Yeah, because everything is on the decline. Their finances, their health, their career, their relationships. Mm-hmm. Wow. We got a Libra. So you could be a Libra, have Libra in your chart, or there's a Libra involved. But we have as above, so below. So with that being said, yeah, things are on the decline uh, in the spirit world when it comes to these people. And, and, and yeah, in the physical world. But it's something about, yeah, it's trying to do some type of sacrifice, spiritual sacrifice, and it ends in a physical sacrifice as above, so below. Mm-hmm. So something or things are definitely, you know what I'm saying, take, taking place here for people or about to take place. I feel like it definitely could take place by the full moon. But yeah, it came right back out. As above, so below. Whoever's resonating with this message, how you know that there is a change that is here is because you could be seeing a lot of angel numbers, a lot of signs and symbols. Mm -hmm. Somebody else could, you know what I'm saying, be seeing a lot of angel numbers, signs and symbols. Um, yeah, but we have a promise breaker out here. So there is a promise breaker out here uh, that, 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 yeah, broke a lot of promises because they wanted to be the master of manipulation or they wanted to follow the master of manipulation. Yeah, and karma is hitting back to back everybody that was involved. Um, so, yeah, first of all, whatever is getting ready to take place, yeah, it's meant to be. It's meant to happen. But whatever this, uh, whatever this is, it's going to happen by coincidence, by chance. Yeah, it's meant to be. It's going to happen. Wow, somebody definitely could be moving to a new city, state, or country. Wow. So whoever's resonating with this message, you could be moving to a new city, state, or country. Somebody definitely could be finding out that, yeah, their marriage is fraudulent. Or somebody um, could have been put in a fraudulent marriage. Wow. Whoever's resonating with this message, yeah. You're you're uh, entering into a new level of spiritual growth. So with that being said, if this is a as above, so below. Yeah, a new level of spiritual growth, a new level of physical growth. Mm. Yeah. Big shit popping, little shit stopping. Mm-hmm. Somebody's name could be Clifford Harris. I just saw a group of men. So there could be a group of men that could be involved or something about a group of men. Somebody definitely, yeah, evading taxes. So something about somebody evading taxes. So somebody could uh, receive some type of um, communication about that as well. Somebody could want to have a serious conversation about evading taxes. Wow, breaking news. So something is definitely going to be on the news. So whatever whatever is going on, uh, definitely could have something to, it could be big enough to be on the news. And so, yeah, there definitely could be a lot of people that are in a dilemma or they're going to be in a dilemma. And it's something about, yeah, if people try to create, if, if, if somebody tries to, yeah, do some type of sacrifice on the full moon, oh, hell. Oh, hell. But I feel like that uh, people, they already in a dilemma. Ain't no, ain't no, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ain't no more sacrifices. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, yeah, for every sacrifice, there's a sacrifice. For every, you know what I'm saying, negative projection, there's, yeah, it's coming right back. Yeah, karma is hitting back to back. And so, yeah, whoever's just name with this message, yeah, you about to receive some good news. Wow. 
I'm also picking up too that yeah, if there was some people, you know what I'm saying, that did, you know what I'm saying, make like some type of deal with the devil or something like that, uh, and they were, you know what I'm saying, sacrificing people or whatever the situation is, and maybe you were one of them, it just didn't work. Um, I feel like that yeah, these people possibly are realizing because we have um, the karma card, bad karma. Well, not karma card, but the tower card in the reverse. Uh, with the devil, I feel like these people are like, yeah, in order for us to get out of this, we're going to have to sacrifice the person, you know what I'm saying, that, that started this, that started it. Because I feel like, the, yeah, there's somebody that started everything, you know what I'm saying, and people just followed. It could be whoever this master of manipulation is. I feel like, the, yeah. But it's also what goes around comes around. So the same person that possibly, yeah, started the sacrifices or, you know what I'm saying, brought the idea, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because we saw that go along with the playing card. So, yeah. Was getting people to go along with the plan to do some type of sacrifices or whatever. Yeah, I feel like that person, something, when we were picking up the energy that something was going to happen to somebody, I feel like it's that person. Uh, and we have a Leo again, so heavy Leo energy. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Because whoever's resonating with this message, yeah, you're getting ready to receive some big, a big reward here. Something uh, is about to happen by coincidence. I feel like a lot of things are about to happen by coincidence. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody definitely is going through a break, uh, going through an ego death. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's, it's whoever this X is, but at the same time, I feel like whoever this X is, it, it's kind of like too late. Yeah. I just heard it's too late to apologize. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Wow. But the, but yeah, somebody is breaking up, you know what I'm saying? It, it's real. And so, with that being said, yeah, uh, there is somebody, yeah, severing ties. Severing ties with fake friends, karmic soulmates, you know what I'm saying? Uh, possibly family members or whatever the situation is, yeah. Whoever's your name with this message, you could be seeing the angel number 444-555-999-222. So, yeah, a lot of angel numbers, a lot of signs and symbols. Mm-hmm. And it's something about, yeah, a delusional karmic. So there could be a delusional karmic that could be on the news. So that could be this person. You know what I'm saying? This this That energy that I was picking up. And it's something about a cousin as well. So there definitely could be uh, somebody's cousin could be involved. Mm-hmm. Yep, but the fact of the matter is, yeah, misery loves company, and so yeah, misery thought that uh, whoever's resonating with this message was going to keep them company. Mm -mm. Whoever's resonating with this message, yeah, you've already paid your karmic debt. So I guess people thought that you know what I'm saying they could transfer their 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 uh, karmic debt to you, and you were going to pay it. You know what I'm saying by lying and and making up stuff and trying to publicly embarrass somebody or whatever the situation is. But no. Whoever tries to name with this message, you've already uh, paid your karmic debt. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so, yeah. So, whoever tries to name with this message, yeah, you're possibly getting ready to receive some type of email here. And it definitely has something to do with some good news. So whatever this email is, it definitely could have something to do with a financial payment, you know what I'm saying, with some unexpected financial resources. Wow. Yep. And I feel like the yeah, whoever's got the name with this message, yeah, you definitely could be receiving some type of real love offer. And so that's the energy that we was picking up at the beginning of the message. But somebody definitely, yeah, could be could be being hospitalized. Or somebody's gonna receive an email that somebody has been hospitalized here.
Wow. So whoever's resonating with this message, just know that uh, there is a big reward that is coming your way. You know what I'm saying? Something or some things are getting are happening by coincidence. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this it could be this email. You know what I'm saying? It could be you know that you just uh, yeah the the financial payment. You know the the real love offer. Uh, yeah, I feel like that some things are happening by coincidence. Um, I feel like yeah. But it's but it's all it's all supposed to happen, you know what I'm saying? It's like it was fated to happen, you know what I mean? But it's something that somebody wasn't expecting because yeah, somebody's just focused on being being them, you know? Somebody, yeah. Possibly isn't focused on love, you know what I mean? They could just be focused on their finances or their health or their career, you know what I mean? Uh their kids or you know what I'm saying, whatever it is, yeah. So something happens by coincidence. And I feel like that it's going to make somebody very, very happy. Not the haters or not the naysayers, but who cares? Um, be aware, yeah, people, you know what I'm saying, uh, trying to come, you know, in from the, you know what I'm saying, out in the cold. Uh, because they see the big transformation, you know what I'm saying, because they see that somebody is, you know what I'm saying, a superhero, that somebody is, you know what I'm saying, a guardian angel on earth. Somebody is, you know what I'm saying, who they say they are. Somebody is, you know what I'm saying, a real one. Um, because yeah, I feel like that um you are yeah, you about to go through a new level of spiritual growth and physical growth and I feel like that yeah, that it definitely has something to do with your future and yeah, I don't feel like that these people can go. There are some things, you know what I'm saying, that uh whoever's resonating with this message is not expecting and I feel like yeah, it's because uh it's a part of somebody's big reward. Again, somebody passed the test. I feel like it was a big, big, big test. Yeah, something like a bar exam. You know what I'm saying? A serious test. Yeah. And so, yeah, somebody's about to get a big bouquet of, of roses. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, a big reward, you know? So, whoever shows name with this message, you know, just keep moving forward. Just continue to do what you've been doing. You know what I'm saying? Keep your head held high, your middle finger higher. And we all know the rest. Yeah, everything is going to work out in your favor. Uh, so with that being said, y'all, that's been your message. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.